Getting large language models to give us the output we want in the format we want can be tricky. In previous videos on the channel, we've learned how to do this using OpenAI's function calling syntax and using a library called guidelines. In today's video, we're going to learn a third approach. LLMware AI provide a, an LLM-based development framework tools, and most importantly for us today, fine-tuned models. And a couple of weeks ago, they released the SLIM models on Hugging Face. So this stands for Structured Language Instruction Models, which is a serious tongue twister. But what these are, are individual models that do one thing and basically return you code for that thing. So it could be sentiment analysis, computing the ratings of something, emotion detection. And we're gonna see how we can use these models to analyze the Amazon reviews for some earbuds that I recently bought. So let's install LLMware and IPython and then we'll launch our IPython REPL and we'll import a couple of classes. And then we're gonna initialize a model catalog. Now we can then call the get LLM FX mapping function and that will give us back a list of all of the models that are available. Now the slim models are available in sort of, yeah, like full, the, the full blown version of them, but then, then there are also quantized uh, versions as well. And so this is the list of the quantized ones, which are better for running on a local machine. So you can see how there are a bunch of different things that we can do. Now, if we want to download all of them to our machine, we can call this get LLM toolkit function. And it happens that I have all of them, but if you didn't, it will then go and download them all and put them into a directory. Now that directory lives under this get model repo path variable and you can see where it is on my machine so it's under the llm where underscore data model repo let's have a look what's in there so you can see we've got a folder for each model and then it's got usually a readme a config and then a gguf model that goes alongside it and we can sort of scroll down and see a bunch of the other ones as well now let's have a look at how we can use these models to analyze the reviews of the earbuds that i bought so these are the ones that i that i bought so far i'd say they are they are pretty good uh, and as you would expect as with most things there are a massive range of reviews so we're going to start with one which basically says they're not they're not very good so a one star review so we're going to paste that into the text variable and then we are going to load the sentiment model so we can pass in slim hyphen sentiment hyphen tool if you want to use the full blown one there's a slightly different bit of text you put in there i'll put a link in the description and then we can call the function call function we'll pass in the text we'll tell it hey we want sentiment we'll tell it we want to classify and we don't really need the the, the logic so we'll tell that we don't need that we'll give it a less than a second it comes back it says yeah this is negative which is kind of what we'd expect it was a one star review and it took at 0.75 seconds to produce the output. Let's have a look at another one. So we're gonna do emotions this time. So we'll load that model and then we'll do the function call again. Again, it comes back reasonably quickly. And this time it says the person is annoyed, which I guess they probably are if they bought some earbuds and they didn't really work. Now, LLMware also has this kind of other uh, API that you can use called LLMFX. Uh, and this one can be a little bit easier to use if you wanna kind of build this into a little, a little pipeline of things. There's less code to write. It's kind of I guess abstracting away some of that code. So we're going to load the emotions, the ratings, and the sentiment. Uh, obviously, you could you could load the other ones as well. And then let's do this for a different review. So this time we're going to go to the other end. So we're going to have a look at a, re a person who's really happy with these earbuds. So we'll again put that into our text variable. And the way that we call it this time, we'll call it three at a time. So we're going to create a tuple of we'll call emotions, we'll do ratings, and we'll do sentiments. So you can see it's much simpler. It's kind of abstracted away the, the function call stuff and it comes back. So this time it says the, the person is impressed. And notice this time we've also got the, the confidence score, so 0 0.8, just under. The rating is a five with 0.94 confidence. So that's, that's pretty good. And again, positive sentiment, again, with a 0.99 confidence. And you can see underneath on the sentiment one, it also tells us whether or not it had any confidence that it might be negative or neutral, which in this case it doesn't. Let's do one more. So this is right down the middle. So three review. And I find that putting things that are in the middle that are not really one thing or another is what really can, can confuse these models. So let's see how it, how it does. We'll paste that into the text variable again, and then we'll go up and get our emotions, ratings, and sentiment function. Let's call that. It comes back. So the emotion it says is faithful. I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe it is. The person's kind of a bit confused about what they're going through. It's got the rating correct. So it says that's a three, but it's sentiment is sort of leaning negative, but it's not entirely sure. So it's sort of two, yeah, a little bit two thirds negative, one third positive. Uh, so if you liked this video, check out this one up here on the LLM Wear channel where they show how you can use these slim models in a RAG application.